In this demonstration, we're going to create um, REST JSON interfaces to ADF business components. So we're starting by creating a regular Fusion type of uh, web application, basically an application that leverages the regular ADF architecture. And as you'll see, the first part of the tutorial, it's just regular ADF development. So if you follow up any ADF tutorial, you will do the same thing. You basically create a connection to a database. In my case, by the way, I'm using a MySQL database on my uh, Mac machine. So just getting the connection over here and then going over and uh, from our data dictionary picking up a couple of tables actually let's just pick the departments for this one um, we're trying to keep it simple for this tutorial shut a little right go through the wizard and click finish this creates your regular ADF business components uh, entity and view object and application model if you now open the application model under web services you'll see the rest tab and when you create try to create one, it will tell you that you need to define a version. So one thing that we can do with ADF Business Component is take multiple versions. So let's create the first version. I'll just give it a, a name of one. And that would be part of the URL for your REST service. So remember what you set here. Then when you go back and you create a new REST service, it will prompt you to create a resource name. I'm going to call my resource depth. And again, this is going to be reflected as part of your REST URL. And I'm just keeping the defaults here, which allow us to do all the CRUD operations on this specific uh, view object. Okay. Um, and at this stage, it created a REST web service project. You can see it over there. And when you run this one, it would actually um, run a web service. Okay, so it deploys it to the embedded web logic, and you can actually test it directly from inside JDeveloper using the HTTP analyzer, as you can see here. Okay, or you can take the same URL and test it from any other location. So for example, if we take the same URL and um, go to a Chrome browser, and we'll paste it into the heading up there, and we'll just add the specific um, URL for a, a specific department, for example. So we'll use the depth resource and then give 30 as the parameter. We'll get the details for department 30. Okay. So the browser lets you test get methods. Uh, I'm going to use a Chrome application called Postman to test some of the more, some of the other operations that you can do on a REST endpoint. So again, we're going to uh, do a get on the depth, and this gives us uh, back a list of all the departments. If we switch over to POST, um, we can actually pass the parameters to the method. So POST is basically the create method, or the insert method. So we're going to paste in here um, some information about the department. So again, we're using a JSON format here. Um, so we're going to create a new delivery department. We're going to give it uh, an ID. No, 88, and just structure our payload like this. When you then click send, you might get this arrow below here. And this is because um, requests into ADF business components need to have the content type set. So this is something you set in the header. So over here, I'm going to set the content type okay, to the specific value that indicates that the payload is actually something that we're passing to an ADF BC REST service. So uh, you can pick this up from the blog entry that relates to this video. Okay, And here's the value that you put here. And then when you do a send, you'll basically get as a return the department. If you'll now actually go into uh, the database browser in JDeveloper, for example, okay, and um, over there, you can go and look at the table and the data in the table. So inside here, we have the departments table. If we open it up and look at the data tab, at this stage, you should see department 88 over here. This is the department I just inserted into the database using the rest post method. Right. So similarly to the post method, you can also do a delete method. So you can actually pass the parameter on the URL this time. Okay, and when you send the delete method, go back into the database browser, refresh. At this point, the department is gone from the database. So this is the delete method using the rest delete operation. Okay. 
And the next step would be to uh, we'll run again the create method. Okay, so the post method. Um, yeah, we actually need to remove the 88 from the end of the line there, like that. Send, and now we insert a department 88. And what you see is that two of the fields are null at this point. Okay, the manager ID, for example. And what we can do is we can use the patch operation. Patch operation is basically an update. Okay, so let's add another value for the manager ID field. Okay, and send it using the patch method. And now if we go back to the database, refresh, we get this value into the database. So this is it.